Hello YouTube and welcome to the first of many tips and tricks videos I am going to do for the MMORPG Warframe. Today's tips and trick guide will revolve around the use of the Limbo Warframe. You can get this by completing the Limbo Theorem quest and the spy mission Pavlov. Pavlov is a uniquely difficult spy mission which has its own rewards table. The reason we're going to use Limbo in this is his ability to pass through sensors without detection uh, by jumping into Limbo. The only sensors he cannot pass through without detection are the ones attached to AI such as sentry drones. So we're going to start out by going in here. I'm also going to show you how to get through each one of the vaults. C is always the same vault. There's actually two ways to complete it. I do it one particular way, which I'm more comfortable with. And A and B is actually generated at random. Point A can be point B, point B can be point A, so on. Okay, so we're going to start out by going to Pavlov, and the first thing we're going to do is tap the sprint button and jump into Limbo. While in Limbo, you cannot interact with consoles, but you can interact with surfaces like the Golden Challenge panels. And you also are not affected by things in the material world, such as enemies firing bullets at you. So we're going to start out with the Jump Limbo. We're going to make our way to Alpha. As you can see, they're shooting at me, but they can't actually hit me. Once we get into Alpha, we're going to jump out of Limbo so we can interact with this panel. Just act this, this door opens up. And like I said, A can be B, B can be A. This one is usually actually B for me. So jump into Limbo. As you can see, these sensors are not detecting me. Then you just run through this door and drop down here into this floor. Now, the fun part about a Limbo is normally this floor will electrocute you and do severe damage. You can drop down here and just run across with no damage, or you can try and jump across these platforms. I like doing it this way because there seems to be a weird drag if you try and rapidly jump across those spinning plates. As I said, you can still interact with surfaces while in Limbo, like this here. Slide across that. You can walk across icy floors, you'll actually get the chill to animation, but you won't be slowed. Alright, once you hack that, jump through this portal, and then you're going back into limbo again. Now we're going to make our way over to B. And that will actually be the wall claim challenge. Now the first part of this, you actually cannot be in Limbo in order to complete because you have to shoot an orb with a button on it, jump and cling to the wall, while clinging to the wall, shoot the button again to pull to the next panel, and so on and so forth. Uh, it'll be easier to show you in a second. I'm going to switch to a faster rate gun, and run in here to the portal, and activate this console. This door over here will open up. As you can see, this thing is floating here. Just run over, hit that, this wall generates. Now you're going to jump over and cling to that wall using your aim button. And we just totally flood that part. At least with a trip sensor, so I don't have to worry about that. Right. And wait just one second. There we go. Jump, shoot, and then shoot. Alright, now once we're here, jump back into Limbo. 
This part you can actually complete while in limbo because that sensor cannot detect you. Again, any sensor that is not attached to an enemy cannot detect you. So this makes this part really easy. The door opens up. Alright, so we can step on this platform and trigger it, but we're going to jump out of limbo first. I don't have any decent weapons for this at the moment, so I'm just going to switch to my melee. And they will spawn in this order. Step on this frame. He'll open up, then he'll spawn, then the corpus, then the grenade. So I'm just going to take them out. Where'd he go? <laughs> okay, there he is. Once they're all dead, this will open up so you can get over to the platform. Oh, I'm sorry, panel. Alright, that's B dumps. So we're gonna jump through this portal and jump back into limbo so we can get through without getting touched. As I said, there are two ways to complete C. I'm just gonna show you the way I'm most familiar with. here. There's the panel there. Of course you have to jump into those rifts in order to get to it because it's in a different time. So we're going to run in here, jump through this, go through this door, hit this panel that drops down, then you're going to uh, jump up. Now I always go right back into limbo here, that way I can run through these sensors without detection, and I'm not slowed by the floors here through here, run it around this corner, and then through this door. Jump out of limbo here because you're going to need to interact with this panel on the wall. Alright, now you can jump back into limbo so you can run through here, step on this platform, the next area will open up, and you're going to run around this corner and through this door. Alright, this part is rather simple. You hack this console, you shoot that button as it passes by this, it will send a volatile container back in time. Alright, so we're going to switch to the Azima. Alright, that's gone now. And right through the portal ourselves. Now shoot the container you just sent through here, and it will blow a hole in the wall. Just run through here, jump in this portal, and you are at checkpoint C. Okay, once that's complete, you jump through this portal, go back into limbo, and hit straight for extraction. Okay, so again, in order to get to this mission, you have to complete the second dream quest, and you need to complete the Limbo Theorem in order to unlock Limbo. Once you have those two, you can come here and get some pretty good mods. There are some that are like really rare, certain stances, like the Gunblade stance, the Glaive stance. The Glaive stance Astral Twilight is particularly good for Teshin's weapon Orbius, once you've collected the pieces and built that. As you can see, I've got a common, uncommon, and rare here. Hell's Chamber gives me multi-shot on shotguns, which is good. And that's how you do a speed run, for the most part, on Pavlov. Feel free to stick around and come back for more videos on tips and tricks. I'm going to cover Warframes, missions, weapons, and various other features. And I hope to see you next time.